Gnarly bees, clockwork calibrations, baby. <laughs>We're going to now move into clockwork calibrations, what they do with and at Gnarly Bees. We're all the same. We love each other here. And then we're going to talk about what we offer and then what these tools are and whatever the hell Jim wants. Uh, RC channel turned into a, now an RC store, which is absolute dream come true. I just can't believe it. It's like a serious, they call it a wig, which is a wildly important goal that actually comes together if you just manifest it and think positively and keep believing. What we're going to offer is several things for your car, pretty much whatever you want for it, starting from the purchase of the vehicle to what type of driving you want to do, the type of battery, wheel setup, tire setup, suspension, much, much like the mountain bikes that we do at this shop as well. So you have levels of electronics modifications and mechanical modifications that both need to coincide with each other. What we can offer on cars that already exist is a tune-up. In a tune-up for your car, it would be anything <laughs> and including taking apart differentials and gearboxes, removing dirt, adding new grease, just like a shock service. Adding, um, um, adding the right kind of grease and even water protection if needed. Secondly, we can do tightening and torquing of all the nuts and bolts on the chassis, which is tedious for most people. They drive it for five minutes and things are falling off, drives them nuts. If you tighten everything and use Loctite correctly, it'll actually last for seasons and seasons where all you're doing is just changing the battery and having a blast. These two trucks here have been together and operating for about 10 years straight. And it's all for just routine little maintenance. It's, it's set up your electronics as far as steering limits and throttle limits. And say the car is too fast for somebody, you can limit it back for them in stages and step it up for them through the electronics, just making adjustments. We can add modifications, like I was saying, like electronics, but we can add another channel to the remote. So instead of steering and throttle, we can add lights and horn and sound systems and winches and just <laughs> your, your imagination can think that we can start working on. Then we can create modifications like i.e. extend wheelbases and make it a long bed or a short bed or customize different types of axles on different types of rigs, different types of gearboxes in different chassis. All of it's possible with these small amount of tools right here because they're small, they're not hard to work with and we use aluminum pieces, parts and aces across the street and we friends with them and we have nuts and bolt contract work. Hell yeah, we do. Let's start building. Okay, matter. we're gonna do a little expectancy about the tools needed to uh, work with RC cars. Seriously, this wrench set here is just a barrel. And it has many little sizes, ranging from half a mil to different Americans and whatever. Check the sizes before you go to install or sell or upgrade parts. We'll make sure we're selling you the correct item. Secondly, a variety of hardware, nuts and bolts, wire connections, chemicals, and these are little 3D printed brackets. We have in our arsenal a 3D printer, but we can make little brackets just for <laughs> mounting servos or anything generic and glue these down and you have an L bracket. <laughs> High speed bandsaw. This thing cooks. But what you can do is cut aluminum brackets. But when you're making miniature items, the measurements are extremely important because you know, in essence, if this is full scale, the blade would be like that wide. Or like we need to cut a frame rail right here and cut a slit like that in it. So that doesn't work. And a belt sander, just for getting rid of lots of extra material. And then this little hand grinder comes in clutch. Because you can literally remove just a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of material if needed, which is part of modifying RC cars correctly. And that leads into this item, which is just a little 10th scale lathe that we use for making things round again and making sure things are true. No and way. Building drive shafts and- No way. Yep. We can build drive shafts? Yeah, and it's all, everything's functioning. Yeah. So it's a belt 
valve drive. Oh, it's, a, it's an actual lathe that has hand controls. So is this normal in the sense of like RC shops would have this or is this something you come up with kind of because you're an engineer yeah, mind? This, this is actually a mix of both. I hobby okay. so hard that I collected tooling and I actually ended up with better tooling than I think normal RC shops are willing to go into modifying. I mean, so, right. And, oh, and that's one thing, um, Gnarly Universe, or in Clockwork Universe, we, we, we're, we'll do it all. We'll never tell you no to a dream unless we physically can't do it. Hmm. Gals, we just want to do some RC cars and, and make some dreams ridiculous. If you want to put octopus tentacles coming out to clamp onto my hat and take it off, I bet Jim can do it. We can do it, bro. RC shit. What's super important about RC cars, mountain bikes, cars, Ferraris, doesn't matter matter if you like it as a customer <laughs> we like it uh, we don't have an opinion as far as oh well, that's not expensive enough or we don't do this these trucks right this is a 1964 tonka pickup roll truck it was it just had a boom on the back super common but it's from 64 and i converted it into a full metal all metal just kind of scale rock crawler motor and trannies up front Forgive the dirt, it's literally on a 10 or 12 year build series, just still working. And if you're a subscriber to Clockwork Calibration channels, you'll see this thing in action quite a bit. This is one of our favorite girls. And to me, it's so special that the toy itself, instead of just being a plastic Yeah, can you explain body, that? This was not an RC car, is what we're yeah, saying, right? From 1960. Yeah, it was just a car that you're modding into yeah, making it was this. That's ludicrous. A, it was just, and you can see these cuts right in here. It used to have little plastic hard wheels, and it was just a roll toy. Yeah. And I convert them into these just ridiculous rock crawling. I mean, they have plenty of uh, suspension articulation. Is a 1976 Tonka ambulance that was converted into my uh, favorite just scale truck. It pulls trailers, it goes for hours, it has undercarriage lighting. And you can see all the scratches, all done to itself by its own weight. You know, it's I call it scale damage, which is some of the most. Fascinating things. If you build a truck, then you go out and you drive it over the same trail over and over, you have a scale road. You have a scale area that's pretty <laughs> soon if you want to build dollhouses, it's a scale neighborhood. It's absurd the amount of fun you get. <laughs> Let's go. Yeah. Because if it entertains you as the client and the owner of the truck, mission accomplished, goal. It is like, you're happy, we're happy. You like it, we like it. Buckets of tools. All of these proven, proven RC building equipment. <laughs> <laughs> it's made of crap, but it's crap, but it's not. It's good stuff. All right, well.